Good morning, happy Monday everybody. So today is an exciting day. We just dropped Jessica off at my parents and we are going on an overnight thrifting trip. I don't know why she whispered. An overnight thrifting trip. For the first time we left our daughter uh, overnight somewhere. At my mom's. Uh, yeah, not, not, not at some, <laughs> some strange random house. Anyways, we're heading south. Uh, we're gonna go explore southern Michigan, hit up all the rural little thrift stores along the way and just have a great time. Our uh, first stop, Plainwell, Michigan. Good old Plainwell. There's a Salvation Army around the corner, but this is the a Goodwill, so let's go check it out. Let's go. There it is. Let's go see if we can make some money. Already found an all clad, which is pretty awesome. Bunch of Revere wear. Let's see what else they have. There's another Revere wear. Jackpot. I've never seen this many units in one store. Wow. So the electronics were pretty pricey. I'm gonna go through the jeans and look for the name brands like Buckle and then go through some of the shoes. Here's what we have so far. From one VCR, a lot of the electronics were like $25, $30 a piece. Let's see what we can find here. We found three Carhartts, which is nice. The rest of the jeans are not great. And then we found these Merrells. They want 15 for them, but they're like excellent condition. We can get at least 45, 50 plus ships, so we can definitely pay up for those. We got some Asics and Brooks. some Brooks. So we're gonna Look through them real quick, make sure they're okay, no major damage. Picked up some pots and pans for sure. This is a great first stop. So we're hunting women's jeans. This pair, we're gonna keep buckle, item six bucks. Here's another buckle. What's going on here? No way, Jose. All right, good first start, good, good first stop. We spent 115 bucks, but uh, there's some good ones in here. Load this up onto the next one. Ah, our bread and butter. So it's always nice when you start a thrifting trip and you find it all clad on your first one. That's really exciting. Let's go. All right, stop number two. Not my favorite chain. We'll see what we can find. One thing I do like about these Sol Salvations, they like color code all their stuff. Yeah, so it's kind of cool. I'm just looking for the Patagonia. <laughs> Patagucci, where are you at? <laughs> the best thing about that Salvation Army was I got to use the bathroom. The best part about it is I found a brand new uh, pair of Skecher Shape Ups. They want $45 for them. This is why I, I uh, hate Salvation Army. So they have Cabbage Patch Kids for $40 a piece. It's so stupid. Anyways, on to the next one. That was not a win. All right, Goodwill is right behind us. Stop number three. Typically hit up the electronics section first. Looks like they have some laptops without hard drives. Uh, no thanks. Oh, hey, Monda. How'd you get here? I tried. <laughs> yeah, let's see if you can find something. I've been to this one before. I think I found a couple of things last time. Uh, well, look up that model number, but usually go, like the small ones usually go for like 10, but the big ones seem to go for more. All right, let's go this way. So here I'm just looking for like five CD disc players. Um, I look up to see if these microwaves are worth picking up for a hundred a piece. You never know. And there's some pots and pans that are Kirkland, 
horrible, horrible brand to resell. All right, we found some decent stuff. Some Sperry's, some Sorel leather, some Torrids, and a $150 piece of metal. I'll show you later. I'm not sure where we are, but wherever it is, they really love Vera Bradley here. <laughs> yeah, we found, there's so much Vera Bradley. It was like an outlet store, but they wanted like $10, $15, even for like the really small ones. There was no room for profit on those. And then some uh, fake Kate Spades and some Colchian bags, but again, $15. So really no room to make any money on them. What's that thing? The biggest pressure cooker we're ever going to sell. <laughs> Maybe we'll find a bigger one. I found comps for this guy. I'm not 100% sure. So obviously we paid up for it. Not 100% sure the size, but a 16 quart goes for 150 bucks plus shipping. So I think we'll be fine. And I found a couple of lids, which is great because a couple of the Revere Bay we picked up earlier didn't have lids. So pretty good rebound from that salvation. On to the next one. Place called? Humps hand-me-downs. So Humps hand-me-downs uh, apparently doesn't exist anymore. Or it, was... it does and it just kills you. Or maybe it's inside. a prostitution rink and we're, we're not supposed to go thrifting there. Anyways, we did figure out we're in like the Bet Benton Harbor area. So we're gonna go to a World Mission Thrift and then uh, go from there. Well, where are we? That's Look at this. Gotcha. Is <laughs> what? Where are we? <laughs> What is this place? All right, look at this place. Turn left onto M139. Oh Where are we? Is this Detroit? Proceed to the route. I don't think there is. Open? Are they open? It might be open. Oh is, my God, you guys. Is this open? Yeah. Are you oh, sure? Shit. It's so scary. Well, if we don't return to this video, we've been murdered. Well, right, let's find out. There's someone in there. Okay. Let's uh. Um, Doesn't have the open sign though. There's free. Wait. Strange. Adine's checking to see if they are legitimately open because it's so sketchy. No. All right. I don't know if I'm relieved or disappointed, to be honest. That would have been nice. It's full. Mm. Oh well, on to the next. What's that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I, I find this and Mona finds that. No big deal. <laughs> Looking through some of these box sets too. Yeah, I know. All right. Nobody's here. I'm just gonna sit these now. Okay. Look, look at that tea kettle behind you. It's chrome. Oh, that is beautiful. We could use this. We could use that. 25. I mean, we should buy that for us. We have a thing to whistle. Ah. But... Still beautiful. Guys, check this out. Is it tan? <laughs> I don't think it is. I guess we could still find some other stuff. Look them up. Yeah. We thought this was KF. This is why we came to this one. Hmm. So Mona had found this place behind us because they had KF pots, but when we looked at them, they actually weren't KF. But look what we found. Another roaster. This is like $150, $200 for this one. They wanted 100 so we definitely paid up. So for the roaster and a Revere Bear kettle, and this beauty right here, the Smith's Injury Modern. $40 paid. $40. All right, everybody. So here's a quick look at the end result of day one. We got like all the common stuff that we love flipping, obviously. Some metal, <laughs> some, <laughs> some, uh, some metal and some rubber and some uh, cotton. So we'll do, a, I think, a haul video tomorrow. Yeah, we'll do a haul video tomorrow, but tonight we're just going to find something to eat, relax, hang out, enjoy a night without our kid, and do it all again tomorrow. Morning, everybody. Welcome to day two of our thrifting trip. We are outside of our first Goodwill this morning. It is 
11.30, so still morning, and we're gonna see what this is all about. It looks pretty big. Let's take a look at the electronics. So I want to make sure these actually work. So I find a little TV and now we can make them, test them right here in the store, which is pretty awesome. So since there's no return policy, this one's a pretty good one. It's like a $40 unit. We'll test this one next. This one works. See if the second one works. Perfect. Let's see if the DVD side works. Sweet. So that works. So this one I'm gonna take a gamble because it needs an HDMI cord and I don't have one. But these two work, so I'm gonna pick them all up. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Two and that this little guy, definitely the highlights. Look out for these Blu-ray players, uh, especially if they have Wi-Fi connectivity. And then these two, uh, I was able to test both in store. I actually just ordered the remote controls for both of them. So I'm gonna bundle those up. This will be like 80 bucks, 90 bucks free shipping. It'll be like 60 bucks free shipping with the AV cables and the remote. Explain yourself. One that was in there a little bit longer, but looks like she found something. What does Vintage that say? Vintage Christian Dior. What is it worth? Like 85 to 100 bucks. Not too shabby. Yeah. What they Paid want up for it. for it. Ooh. Whole $9. Fantastic. Let's see if there's any room. All right. Now it's time for the next one. Seems like all the Goodwills here are just like huge, which is good, I guess. Right? Right. Right. Let's see what we can find. Wish us luck. Sorry, pardon me. I'll have to look this guy up, but he's like vintage and packaged. With Christmas, I see a VCR. Look this guy up, see if you can test it in here. Uh, 10 bucks, a little steep, but we'll see what, how it does. Some more beer wear. Needs a good cleaning. Found some lids too. Oh, that's a nice one. Ooh, what's going on in the center? Is it a beer wear? Yeah. Nice. I know you can't do the jumping thing. Too bad. Not bad. Thanks, Goodwill. Not bad at all. I think we're uh, officially running out of room, though. We'll see if we can. Uh... I didn't put anything in the back seat, guys. This is true. Yeah, so more Revere wear, um, some good shoes, another VCR. Pretty good trip. All right, well. Um... You got this? 
I think so far this has been a successful thrifting trip, guys. We're just gonna have to play some. Ah, that's fine. Just squeeze that in there. Not bad. So I did pass on one thing in there. They had another Ronco rotisserie, but I honestly just didn't want to clean it. And sometimes you just have to know yourself and say, you know what? I don't want to clean that and pass on it. But that fondue set looks like it's never been used. It's vintage. It's worth about 50 bucks. There you go. Perfect. Plenty of room. All right. We interrupt this scheduled programming because I just found four Nintendo 64 video games on Marketplace. Dude wants 150 for them. There's a lot of value there. I offered 100. He said yes. 10 minutes away. Let's go get some video games. I got the games. So I picked these up for 100. I'll show them uh, later when we do a haul video, but worth a little bit more than 100 for sure. All right. Stop number three today we'll see uh how many we visit this is a beautiful l cart indiana let's see what we can find Revival pair, so that's good all day. That were hidden in uh, the women's section. These are men's rock revival, which I think somebody did on purpose. A uh, pair of buckle women jeans and a pair of Duluth jeans, and and these cute little little baby Jordans. Yeah. So we'll probably resell them, but just as in a four, and these are in five, so she'll probably kick it for for a few weeks in those too. Yeah. Time for a lunch break and probably about done with the trip. We'll see if we can find more stores. Okay, so we got everything home into the house. We sorted it all into separate categories. For the sake of this video, we are going to stop it here and do a separate haul video. So watch for that next. In that one, we're gonna go over what we spent in each category, what we expect to make, and go through specific items that we picked up so you know what to look for when you're at the thrift. So we will give you a little teaser and say we do expect to make at least five times what we spent on this trip. So thank you for following along and watch for that next video. Mm -hmm.